Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to group apps into a single icon down in your taskbar so that way you could have groups of apps and save some space on your taskbar at the same time. So this is called App Group. So we did a video not too long ago on a similar app called Taskbar Group. So I'll put a link in the description for that in case you want to compare the two. Alright, so once you download this, it's uh, free to download. You just extract the zip file, then you run the executable, and it will be running down here in your system tray. And you just right click on it and show to bring it up here. Alright, so I already have this one here for Windows Tools, which I have down here. If I click on it, you can see I have access to the tools, and I could just click on whatever I need right from there. Alright, so if you click on the Edit button here, uh, you could show the header. So if I turn that off, now it doesn't have the header on the top there. And then you could also change the columns. Let's say I want to go the other way, vertical. We go one. And now they're all up and down like this. And you can even change to two if I want. Like so. And then you could add additional shortcuts or delete shortcuts. So you notice they have the shortcut extension there, so they'll have to be shortcuts to your applications. So let's say you have an executable that you want to add, you'll have to create a shortcut to it first. Alright, so let's create a new one here. By clicking on the plus button. Alright, so now you could either add shortcuts from here or drag and drop them. So I have the Office folder open here. So let's say I want to do Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Excel. Let's add one note as well. Just drag and drop them in there. I could give it a name. Alright, so now when you come here, you could choose the grid icon, which will show it like that using the icons based on the shortcuts. Or if you have your own icon, you could do that. So I have an icon for Office. So it could be a JPEG, JPG, PNG, ICO file. So that's the icon there. And then I could show the header if I like, decide the column length. So we'll leave it at 3 for now. Click on Save. All right, so now to add it to the taskbar, you have to click on the three dots here and open file location. So you can see it puts it in the folder where you have the app. So here's my shortcut. Just drag it down here. And then when I click on it, I could open up whatever app right from there. And then, of course, you could right click on it and unpin it as well if you don't want it any longer. And then, of course, you could come back here and just edit it as needed or delete it from your group, duplicate it, and so on. And of course, if you have a lot of groups, you could search them from here. So as you can see, you know, it's pretty simple to use once you get the hang of how it works, especially with um, the part here where you need to open the file location to be able to add it to your taskbar. And you could also do this as well. Say you wanted to have a shortcut on your desktop. You could open it like that and just have it pop up on your desktop. So that's another option. Alright, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download App Group and you can check it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.